Hi. Hi. I was like across the screen. Hey and hi. Hey. Hi. Yeah. Hey guys. Yeah. Hey, how y'all pop a lot fan? <laughs> Morning. This is pop Tuesday. <laughs> this is Tuesday after Canton, after Fourth of July. Um, we're just kind of moving slow, catching up around the office. So I thought I would paint some of these garland flags for you. I'm trying to get all kinds of samples in Canton. Um Cody, you have anything to sell and buy kettle corn? Oh, you throw on a logo. Yeah. Know. We got Colby in the office, CEO of Kettle Corn, Pop a Lot. We'll let him talk to you a little bit about what's going on there. Um, this weekend we will be at one of a new location that we have it just kind of close a bit. Yeah, you good. Yeah, um, <laughs> we got a new location. We will be in the Macomb, Mississippi area at the Macomb Mall. Macomb. Um, you're watching and you're from that area or have family members from that area and you're watching, tell them we will be there Friday and Saturday. We will be outside of the main, uh, off the main road there. But you know what road that is? Uh, Brother BJ's from around that area. So he walked no, in right at the right time. He can't remember though. So yeah, we will be at Macomb. I think it's Veterans Boulevard, I think. It might be Veterans Boulevard, guys. Where um, is that? Macomb, Mississippi. Yeah, where is that? Where's what? Macomb, Mississippi. It is in Macomb, Mississippi. 55 <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, well, so we'll be there. We'll be at our uh, other four yep. spots. Lafayette, Lake Charles, Baton Rouge, and Monroe. Tell your so, friends, uh, tell your neighbors, tell your wife. Tell everybody. Tell everybody. Uh, I hope you all had a great fourth and uh, fair well. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Isn't 55 what runs to Memphis? To yeah. yeah. Okay. All the way down. Macomb. Is Macomb or Macomb? Macomb. M-C-C-O-M-B. Macomb. Give me Macomb. Right? <laughs> What's in your hair? Oh, it's just Macomb. <laughs> What's sticking out your back pocket? It's Macomb. <laughs> So I'm going to paint a couple of these garland shapes. This is the apple. I have the pencil here too. Um, y'all y'all know how I do it. I'm going to be moving around to different ones. I think I'll put, make this one kind of a teachery or a school look too. I'm just going to use my high school colors, which was red, black, and gray. These are still a big seller in Canton. People love these things. Um, I'm always telling people how you could reverse them, do one side spring colors and one side fall colors so that you don't have to buy so many. Um, and you don't really have to buy so many. Five makes a good garland. Um, like three of the flag shapes and two of the specialty shapes. And you could just buy the specialty shapes and a couple of the flag shapes and just swap them out. And then remember, you can also buy any shape that we make at eight inches, drill a couple holes, and you got an extra garland piece. There you have it. There you go. So um, we're in full blown summer here at the shop. Got all the kids here. Everybody's out of school. It's very chaotic. Um, I'm going to be taking off Thursday and Friday. I'll probably switch a day with Scarlett. If she's going to be here, paint an extra day with y'all. Let me see. I'll do that with the Fiesta look. So that's all the red I'm going to do. Almost put my paintbrush in my coffee. If you do this regularly, like paint, you, you have, in fact, put your paintbrush in your drink at some point. It's inevitable. I'm going to do my leaf here. A little evergreen. I'll probably mix in some limeade because I'm itchy. I'm painting at a kids' camp this week, called a maker's camp, and we're gonna do some little flower shapes. They're gonna. They have a uh, every day. They come in for the full day, and they get to work with all the makers at the studio that the camp is at. They get to paint. Uh, they get to paint. They get to make candles. They get to uh, 
make one day they'll be in there with like a cookie cake decorator and they'll make that kind of stuff. It's a pretty cool thing. So I'm doing that on Thursday. I won't be here. Mixing in some limeade with that. Do a lot of kids go to that? Uh, I think she said they had 15 show up today, which is a good number because, you yeah. know, you don't want to be overrun. But they all get one-on-one -on -one experiences with the with the whoever's teaching them that day. It's pretty cool. I would want my kids to do that. I think it would be awesome if my kids were a little. I'm going to do the background of this one, Limeade. This is the one I'm going to use in the uh, Fiesta one a little bit. What you got going on, Sarah? Doing a couple of these uh, garland, garland shades. Trying to make it my way through them all eventually. Yeah. I'm going to do the back to school and the Fiesta here. How was your weekend? You weren't in Canton, huh? No, I was in Lake Charles. In the mall? Yeah. Were y'all busy? We did it good for uh, the situation, the circumstances. It was, it was a wet one. Was it? All weekend. We stood there with wet feet. Well, at least you weren't standing there sweating. And praise God. Yep. Like we bad. were in Canton. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was bad. Especially down in the arbors. We had our little AC in our in our room, which was pretty cool. But you know, you don't want to just sit in that little AC room and be lazy. We yeah, had to right. sit out where the customers were. You know, we just yeah. went in there to work. I would have loved to kick back and stay in that room. Yes, <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna switch from green and get my. Yellow pencil, my gray stripes here. Probably gonna do my fiesta hat. Well, what color is this number? Yellow? I mean, they use a kind of yellowish brown. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So I probably should. Okay, I'm gonna leave room here for my eraser. Make my little scalloped edges on my pencil. Scallops usually just good. No paint by lawn shape, but you can pretty much sketch out the pencil. First thing I do is feel wooden pencil cutout or wooden pencil door hanger. You know, you get your look at how they do it and that. I think I'll do my background. I'll totally put up my green before I did my cactus. So I got scammed yesterday. Did you have? Well, I didn't fall for it, of course, because I'm smart. But let me tell y'all about this because it will happen to you. On Instagram, I had somebody message me and asked to ask my pet price, pet portrait prices, and I sent them a, a price list. And they, I went to their profile to like check them out, see who they were. Well, I noticed that their profile was fairly new, and they only had a few posts, and they were all posted last month, which that's your first indicator that they might not be legit. And then the way they talked to me was a little bit off the way they typed like saying things like my pup my pup pet and uh, just the wording was not quite like talking to somebody from the United States uh, it just had some weird grammar in it so I started feeling sketchy about it and they went ahead and sent me pictures of a dog and I was like okay and another thing was the way they were talking to me did not at all match the person in the pictures the guy that they had as their profile, you know, so that was a, that was an iffy thing right there. So be, please be skeptical because it is not worth getting hacked over. So then, um, 
they sent me pictures. I told them which picture would work as a pet portrait. And then they came back and said that, how, how could they pay me? And I said, well, we can use uh, PayPal. And they said, well, I, I'm not allowed to use third party payment. Red flag, I want to send you a digital check. So I Googled digital checks and how they work. And then they said, what's your full name and email address? So I told them. They asked what institution I banked with. And I said, you don't need to know that. You can just send me a digital check and I'll deposit it. They said, okay, don't ever give out your banking information to anybody. Then they came back and said, uh, listen, I'm only allowed to do a thousand dollar digital check. So I'll need you, I'll need to trust you to send me back the remaining money. Nope. That's where the scam is. They want you to accept their thousand dollar check, which is false deposit it and return to them the remainder of the money. There's your scam. So I immediately reported them as fraud and scamming. But watch out. This is how people get taken because what happens is you cash the check, you send them back the remaining amount, the check bounces and you're out the money. And they have that money that you sent them. Or another way they do it is they ask you for your financial institution stuff and then they say something like, I'm having trouble. Can you give me your login info? Don't ever give out your login stuff to anybody over Messenger, over Facebook, over Instagram. If they're legit, they'll be able to pay you in a legit way. Hmm. So I report I'm glad them. you was on to them. You can't really get over on me, but I do see people get caught over. Yeah. <laughs> I'm skeptical about everybody. I'm skeptical when somebody waves at me. Why are you mean that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you think I'll, I'll look cute today? Why? <laughs> what are you up to? What are you up to? What's your ultimate plan? Okay, so I'm doing this uh, cactus with green and lime, and I'm kind of making different uh, shades, dark and white. To, I'll wait on that to dry a little bit and then I'll add some light to it. Back to my sombrero. Who was that for? Well, I was trying to see if anybody was saying anything, but um, I'm not sure what's going on on Billy's computer. Oh, yeah. And I don't want to touch anything and mess anything up. So. Where did he go? Uh, I need to even fix the shape for me real fast. That alligator, the dancing alligators, the Mardi Gras gators? Yep. It's not working for some reason. I thought I fixed it, but. I thought we did fix that a I while ago. Too, and I thought I fixed it again just a minute ago. And it's still Maybe we saved the wrong version of it. Alright, going back over my pencil. Now I'm going to do my pencil lid. Or my pencil wood. So <laughs> you need a different brush. Just find my little scalloped edge here. Yeah. It's still positive 120 degrees outside. Yeah. It was super hot again. Like just stand there and let drip, let sweat drip down your face. Hot. No point in wiping anymore. No. I had a neck fan too. I couldn't figure it out either. Okay. Hey. So we were talking about online scams because online somebody tried scams. to scam me. Or they got a ton of them. Somebody tried to scam me for a pet portrait. They're all pretty much the same, you know. 
it comes down to it. But I was telling him what not to do. Tell me, Jenny. No, the, te- the people watching. Because they were trying to get my banking info and stuff. Oh, yeah. They wanted me to deposit a thousand and give them back. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. remainder. Yeah. I was like, yeah. three, four, two. We've got a billion dollars for you. Uh, we just need a processing fee to get legal. Well, they wanted to send me an e check for a thousand dollars and me to take out what I need for the pet portrait and send the rest back. <laughs> <laughs> Their name was Jasmine Goddess Love. <laughs> Uh, they're from Nigeria. <laughs> they had a nice buff uh, Caucasian man with a dog and <laughs> army shirt on as their pro Oh, of course. Okay. I'm going to some prayer. Hmm. Hope you all have a great Fourth of July. We just talking about the uh, fireworks and everything. Mm-hmm. What fireworks? DJ bought a bunch of fireworks. Y'all did fireworks? Yeah, we did. Yeah. It was a good time. It was great. Yeah, yeah. Were y'all like back up, Terry? Put it in reverse, Terry. <laughs> Casey, if you win, and tell her what theme you would like, and we'll send you these pieces for that theme. Like back to school, uh, fall, Christmas, what else? Uh, Easter, Easter, Valentine's Day. We did St. Patrick's. St. Patrick's Day. Or you can just get a bunch of flags. Yeah, or you could just tell her you want all of the pendant shaped flags or all of the. Uh, get, is it Gaidon? Gaidon, yeah. Gaidon, Gaidon shape. Give me myself a pink eraser here. Where on the website are the benefits? Well, that is perfect. It's under to Garland. I'm Yes, it is a build your own garland uh, with the link right here in the comments for you. Emma can't believe it's July already. I'm right there with you. July, the lion. Added a pink dot to my sombrero. Get a little orange in here. Are those carpet jeans in Kansas? Yeah. I need them. I gotta update them all. Please. Brother Jim. Brother you, from the mall. Yeah, I've gotta update all of them. Do you know how many times you pocket doll me, Brother Jim? Uh-uh. Like oh, probably five yeah, times a few in the people last week. That. <laughs> a few people saying that. I think Kobe said he was doing this. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going, hello? Hello? <laughs> Make my heart skip a beat. <laughs> so a little orange on that. Out of blue. This is uh, too long for uh, Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Well, Thanks for rubbing it in. <laughs> <laughs> We've got several more months before. We had one cool day, like well, not cool. It was, a, it was cool in comparison to. Y'all got rain. We didn't yeah, even get that. Yeah, rain. There was 
one day that it stayed overcast all day. It was max. It was rain. Yeah, it was rain. All right. The dark green stuff on here too. We've been letting everybody know uh, the last few busy <coughs> videos we did last week. Excuse me. We have the lowest prices active on our website. Right now. Yeah. Like non-promotional, we have just lowered our prices uh, to try to give a little relief to our wholesale customers and everything. Uh, so it's that time, you know. Some of our prices are half what they were. Times is hard. Yeah. All right, let me do a little. We don't want people making life decisions about ordering their wood cut out. <laughs> right, right, right. It'd be better if they could just keep on yeah. making it. Let me see here. You think you need some food? That guy is here. And he says he can buy me And I'll do a little bit of yellow on here, and then I'll be done with this one. This one I was going to pair with my Fiesta banner, which is the sombrero hat and the cactus. Bring this one back over. I'm going to do the gray here. We're just about done with these. Just about finished. A little gray and black. Yeah, I went back and looked at our, our numbers, like the uh, actual pricing over the last couple of years. This is officially the lowest prices we've had um, in a long time, probably five years now. Really? Yeah. You know, not only every single thing, but most of our stuff, you know, basic shapes, pink lines. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. 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 So, if you're trying to get started. Now's, now's the time. All right. And this one, and then I will. Now on it. Doing this one to go with the back to school one. It's my official, my official school colors. What high school mascot did you have? Spartan. We were Spartan, and our colors were blue and gold, I believe. It's we were Panthers. We were black, gray, and red. Panthers, aren't they Spartans here too? Uh, PBA, yes, they are. All right. So, what is this ultimately going to be? Just a display for um, for Canon. But I've got the Fiesta three and the school, the back to school three okay. on here. I'm going to do a little bit of highlighting and then I can do the marker. We no shortage of kids around. Uh, I say that to me. With me. Oh, I don't know. Where's the marker? With me. Oh, yeah. Let me use this. Do my black. How many kids are here today? 
Oh, let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, five, so far. I don't have any room. Five, that's all. <laughs> Um, what was the email for the gifting? Um, I guess that's what she's talking about for the prizes. Uh, it's going to be support at build-a-cross.com. I'll put that in the comments also. Right. Yeah. It smells like somebody's burning something. BJ is burning some chicken. Oh. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> you lucked out with boys for him to play with. Yeah. Lead to your pencil. Now, let me get some highlights on here. What's that you're adding to your Dixie Doll to pen it out? Is that lacquer or that are? Just water. Just water. You mean to tell me you can bring Dixie Bell down to a lower viscosity by adding? Back to life. That is crazy. Yep. Water base. Who would have thunk it? More than one school mascot? Like, yeah. was we were saying all the way through? Well, in junior high, we were the Cubs. And then by high school, we were the Panthers. Uh, okay. I was an Eagle. An Eagle? Yeah. And then when I went to LSU, I was a Tiger. And at my other, before I moved to Magnolia, my other school, we were the like the gales, and then we were the cyclones. So it went from a wind to a full moon. <laughs> so this is pretty much how I would do it. I would add a little black outlines and they're really dry, but we can get a good look here. No! A way you can do back to school or fiesta. Uh, fiesta. You want to pick a winner? Our winner today, just email us at support at build a cross.com and specify what holiday you would like a garland for, and we will send you five shapes. Thanks so much, and Scarlet will be here tomorrow. Or me, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, that's awesome. Adios. Adios.